Hi, I'm Corinne Winter. I'm the CEO and founder of Mission B, and we're looking forward to spreading our mindful music and conscious hip hop program throughout schools in Oakland and Northern California, as well as New York. Please visit our website to help support us at missionb.org. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Sarah Cruz. I'm the Mindfulness Music Coordinator for Mission B. I'm excited to collaborate with these artists this year and bring mindful music to as many places as we can. Right now we're in the Oakland Middle School and um, we have an opportunity to come here next year with our full curriculum. So I brought some instruments today. Um, there's lots, so many instruments in the world. It's called a Shruti box. S-H-R-U-T-I. It's in the shape of a laptop. Oh, that's Can you join me? I want us to practice using the sound of our voice to lower our nervous system. Yes? What happens if we don't relax? What emotions might we feel? Anger. Anger. Does anyone here feel angry ever? Raise your hand if you ever feel angry. With your support, we can come here next year and offer this wonderful curriculum to these children who have greatly transformed in three weeks. Um, of experiencing what we bring. No, we can't be my first, you know what it is. We're the same thing. Alright, so I'm just gonna show y'all another way to be mindful. I'm really gonna be focusing on the parts of the brain that are really, really important when it comes to being mindful. How many of y'all been angry or something? Real yeah, obvious question, right? Everybody been angry. To the point where you like you do something and you like, man, I don't even know why I did that. Normally I don't do that. Right. Okay, so I mean, everybody put your hand up like this. What we gonna do is make it number four. You know, close it up. So we're gonna pretend like this is our brain. This is our brain all for the back, all right? This front part of our knuckles is our prefrontal cortex. Let's say prefrontal cortex. Prefrontal cortex. That's gonna be that area right up in this area, right up in the forehead region, all right? And what the prefrontal cortex is very, very instrumental in is keeping you calm making good decisions for yourself and being able to learn new information. So when this part right here is active, that's when we're calm and we're kind of like able to learn stuff. When we're sitting in class, it's a little bit easy. That's why your teachers always ask you guys to calm down when you come into class to be quiet and be still because that allows this part of your brain to really stay active so that you can absorb all the information that you get. So check this out, let's open it up. Alright, we're gonna pretend like this little blank area. This is our hippocampus. Everybody say hippocampus. hippocampus. So the song Don't Flip Your Lid was inspired by a good friend of mine and colleague uh, Daniel Siegel, uh, who talks about the neuroscience and neuroplasticity around the brain um, using a brain model which incorporates the prefrontal cortex, the amygdala, and the hippocampus. And it's something like this. Bye bye. So thank you all for uh, supporting Mission B. Thank you all for being here for us. We're trying to take this program far and wide. And with your help, I know that we can do that. So thanks again. Stay mindful. Don't forget it. it calms this part of our brain. Remember, let's put our hands right here. This is where our amygdala is, right here. So you gotta be kind to yourself and others. You gotta be kind to yourself and others. Pay attention to your thoughts and meditate. Take a long, slow walk, let go of the hate. Cause we're in need of love today. Cause we're in need of love today. So breathe in, breathe out.
with 20 advisory students in a 40-minute class, and it's been amazing. If I were to take a picture before and after of my students, I would see so much advancement on the part of almost every student in the class. Because even just to know that breathing in and breathing out and oxygen help your brain, but to practice it, to have the songs, to have the raps, to have the consciousness raising, the description of the brain, especially like the fist and the open and the thumb and fight, flight, freeze, that just is so helpful for kids to be one with their body, mind, and to learn, have, get some tools, which especially these days, most people live in urban areas, most kids live in urban areas. There are a lot of problems people have, a lot of fast anger, uh, habitual ways of dealing with things. And so I look at teaching mindfulness to our students as a way to ripple out positively into the environment and the community so that more people will embrace breathing and fulfilling themselves and being relaxed. So our first activity in listening is raising our hand when the sound of the bell stops. Ready? When it totally stops. I just attended Mission B's program at an elementary school and it was absolutely wonderful. They had a wonderful group of educators that really reached the children. To support Mission B, please go to www.missionbe.org. Thank you so much for your support, uh, your connectivity, the community that you are with us, Mission B. Be mindful.